Schultz. Ladies and gentlemen, the following singles contest. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, time out. It's an opening round match in the CTW Winnipeg Lottery Tournament. It's time to run. 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 Jared Estrada, a heavyweight monster of the ring, powerhouse style. This guy's got no off switch once he gets started. Eric Schultz is in for a tough one right here. Lethal lottery madness. And we promised there would be some surprises. This one, I don't think anyone had on their list as a possibility. So nope, no gonna, such thing as a redraw. Redraws, no. That's why they call it a lethal lottery. And you gotta be ready with all guns blazing if you're gonna be a player. Not happening. You gotta admit, Mr. Williamson, it's impossible to prepare for these sorts of matches, isn't it? Absolutely, and that's how this how that's how this tournament was designed, so that nobody knows who they're facing, when they're facing them, and they have to work on this completely off the top of their heads. They have to figure out strategies they have to figure out offense they have to figure out defense they have to figure out what they're going to do in the moment they can't study they can't prepare they can't they got to be plan. ready for anything don't absolutely. you agree absolutely so this is where we're at and he was CTW. definitely not ready for the six five almost 300 pound jared estrada isn't he huge he's got to be darn near six feet three inches tall this guy oh six four six five easy so this is going to be something Give credit to our super fans at ringside for selecting the names. Well, I'm, I'm intrigued to see if, if Eric Schultz can actually manage to beat this big man. Well, will this or will this be a severe upset? Yeah, well, something could happen that could steal the show. And whoever's got the aggressiveness early has won the previous lethal lottery matches. So Schultz is going to paintbrush the face of Jared Estrada, apparently, and try to play mind games with him. Is he going to try to put him in, put him in the courtroom? Is he going to put him in front of the judge? Oh, he bailed him across the ring and nearly dropped him on his head. For heaven's sake, he, he nearly bailed him out of the ring. And look at Cameron Wade. He's, he's, he about he almost I think jumped Cameron, out of his fur coat here. I think Cameron's about to drop a pile. And you must be happy as a peach to see the individuals who try to kidnap you. As long as he keeps things professional, professional, I can keep it professional. Oh, yeah, keep it professional. Easier for you to say than to make actual reality here. Crash test. My side headlock takeover. Keeping it basic, keeping it simple, putting Eric Schultz on the net. I think that's a pretty sound strategy. Bye. Jared Estrada right here. To Absolutely. Start you put off. that weight on your opponent's chest and lungs, and you're just going to press all the air out. Schultz goes for the eyes. He's sneaky, this Eric Schultz is. Oh, absolutely. And Come on. He, and he's, very, he's a lawyer, for God's sake. He's sakes. very quick, deceptively fast, and interestingly enough, oh, wow, what a clobbering shot that was. Absolutely. Elbow to the forehead. Schultz, a heavyweight champion outside of this promotion, so he's capable of being a uh, top ranked performer all around town, inside and out. But in crash tested wrestling, he can't take oh, the it is. And what a chop block that was. And There's the shady me. attorney I was expecting. Yeah, Schultz is going to try to ground the big man. It makes sense, Mr. Williamson, that no, it's Eric a, it, Schultz... That's a smart move. It's not illegal. I'll give him that. Oh, well, yeah, you know what? But, however, it does take a lawyer to think of moves like that. 
He's going for that ankle. And you know that uh, if you can ground a bigger opponent and work over their joints and use joint manipulation. Well, you got to think. It's gonna he wants to the chop lock to the knee. Now he's going for the ankle. But when you twist the ankle, you're also twisting the knee. I was always wondering whether or not Eric Schultz had what it took to win one of your punishment gauntlets. He, he lasted a while, but he couldn't overcome. And now he's in the lethal lottery. Is this a consolation prize for him? The chance if that he, he has wins. a second chance. If he wins. He's going to win a lot of matches against a lot of random opponents. That's right. It's not going to be easy for either of these two. I'm hoping for an upset from the new guy. Jared yeah, Estrada, Jared man, this Estrada. big beast of a guy. Football there is background. no reason why he can't beat Eric Schultz. Football background, amateur wrestling. This guy's a weightlifter. He's been in track and field meets throughout his, 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 his scholastic career. Known for a Samoan drop and a Superman punch. Oh, and again, he goes for the chop block. Yeah, he's going to have a heck of a time going for the misery go around that I think that's the only shot he's got to keep him down slam. on the mat. Yeah, the powerhouse style of Estrada has been neutralized by the very alert, brilliant technique. Oh, he's going for some submission here. Schultz right here. I, I like... Oh, there he goes, yanking back. As much as you might dislike the high society and Eric Schultz, I think Eric Schultz is handling this pressure exactly the way he should by downing the bigger man on the mat and preventing him from Jared powered standing. out of it. But you're absolutely right. When you're a lawyer and you go into the courtroom, you got to stay cal calm, cool, and collected at all times. So Eric knows how to stay calm, cool, and collected. Now, it, it would be hard to suggest that, that Jared Estrada has more experience in in-ring time than Schultz. I would disagree with that. I think Schultz is more of the in-ring general. But Jared Estrada, five years in, Schultz basically got started over the course of the last four or five years himself. So these two comparable in experience, but I think Schultz has had the higher level of competition. That, that's arguable. That's all debatable. Well, to tell you honestly, the truth, I, this is the first time he's seeing Jared Estrada, so I don't know a whole lot about his background or who he faced or whatnot. All I know is he's an intimidating size of, size of a guy, and I don't see any reason why he can't overcome Eric Schultz right now. Well, if he can't stand, I mean, it doesn't look right. It doesn't look good right at the stand, moment. Because I can't see him having Eric a shot. Eric keeps taking his knees out. Snap air takeover, reverse chin locks on, and there's no end in sight for Eric Schultz and the high society potentially running and ruling this night. Remember, later on tonight, the punishment gauntlet for Chris Miller. But right now, it's the Eric Schultz hour, and Eric Schultz. I'm surprised the fans are really clapping him up, supporting. Absolutely. Jared Estrada, who's doing everything he can to fight back. Nice close line. Look at this. And another one. The big man rumbling through Eric Schultz and rotating and spinning oh, around. Okay, Chris. Look at this. There it is. Misery go around, but his left knee has been damaged. He couldn't cover him right away. That's enough. Oh, oh, and Schultz got kicked out because two, of his knee, man. He couldn't get quarters. to the cover fast enough. Wow, that was so close. I think we might be seconds away from a Superman punch or a Samoan drop. And if Schultz has the air knocked out of him, if he takes this knockout shot, he will Here knock goes out. Drop. Oh, oh so his knee gave out. Schultz found it open. He rolled him up from behind. His arm is trapped. His leg is destroyed. He went away. Schultz, his legs, his legs. That's it. The official count is three. What was that? What I learned. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner. Advancing to the next round of the CTW. It was shady. It was shady. His legs were on the ropes. Riyadh skills missed it. I understand that. I can't, but I, even though I'm the CEO, I have to respect the referee's decisions. Yes, I saw it with my own two eyes. He had his legs on the ropes. The referee didn't see it. The referee counted three. I have to abide by the referee's decision. I'm not going to throw my weight around and change referee's decisions, even though he did cheat. Eric Schultz beat red, black and blue. He put in a 
finger towards you, Mr. Williamson. Cameron I Wayne be, is I know he's not done be with you. I know he's going to be slightest. Bad. Chris Miller has a gauntlet match later on tonight. I was I impressed. Him again. I was impressed by the maturity and the handling of the pressure by Jared Estrada. Pretty good effort. Absolutely. He, he might be back. He might be back in CT level. Hey, Pass, he was pretty.